Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more Guild Wars for you guys. And of course, before we begin, the joke of the day from Icarus. Uh, please don't hand out raisins this Halloween. Uh, eggs and toilet paper have gotten really expensive. <laughs> Remember when that used to be a thing? I don't know if that's still a thing anymore, where people egg your house or, to or, or like TP your house, right? Throw toilet paper all over and vandalize your yard. Um, I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, it would be in the news sometimes. I don't think I hear about that stuff anymore. Then again, there's some much crazier things happening in the US now than uh, just eggs and toilet paper, so a lot more to watch out for. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into our first match here. So, Ron, Lilius, and Senya, pretty standard Guild Wars defense team nowadays. Uh, we're going to be bringing in Christy, Arya, and Destina. I'm going to hope that my Arya doesn't just implode to Ron, and hopefully it's not a super effective, uh, high effectiveness Ron. But here's my Christy, um, really low speed, bit of bulk, Arius to help out. And she'll be passing on half of her resist to Arya which is going to be helping her out quite a bit. Uh, Destina here as well, going to be helping out a little bit in terms of just healing, Garnized Crystals for some emergency procs in case Arya gets too low, and just CR pushing and cleansing as well. You know, the good stuff. Uh, Arya is going to be here. Mine's pretty bulky, so I'm not too worried about her dying. The damage is a little low, but it doesn't really matter because we do have Fairy Tail for our Nightmare, which is going to help out with a bunch of fixed damage. For the bottom team, we got C, Lilius, Apoc, Ravi, and ML Landy, and we're going to be testing out our ML Euphine in Guild Wars. I know, it's been a while um, <laughs> since her release, and we're just now getting to this. Uh, but yeah, we'll be testing her out here. ROL is going to be the knight of choice to help tank the Apoc Ravi, and also just to kind of control the Sea Lilius so she doesn't proc too much uh, dual attacks into us. The dual attacks are going to help a little bit though. Euphine is going to be uh, benefiting from those hits to gain that fighting spirit that she needs. Uh, also chances to counter attack, which is going to help us quite a bit. Uh, she is on my best copy of Elber's Ritual Sword, which is only 20 plus 21, um, but it's good enough, right? So we'll, we'll hopefully be able to make it work. And we'll Coward here with the attack imprint for the team. Hopefully he's not going to draw the aggro from the light units. Uh, if he does, we're just going to bank on the ML Landy proccing some salvos so that uh, Euphine can actually get her stacks. But other than that, I think we're going to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can accomplish. All right, for the first match here, um, the Lilius and the Senya are actually pretty slow. Ron is pretty low on health. Uh, no crit there, but we do resist, so it does seem like it is a um, damage build, I would say. All right, so let's go ahead and use Arya here. Fire Lily is going to push up, that is okay. We'll let her just pop her S3. This will cause the Arya to counter. This actually does break the Christy out of stealth, because she is on Aurea, so she does take quite a few um, more hit points of damage, but we could just heal her up and she can give herself a defense buff and heal herself again. Alright, beautiful. And now Senya is going to go, and we should be good. Our entire team is super high resist. Uh, if you don't have Destina here, like Maid Chloe could also work pretty well. She actually gives more resist to the team too, If you, especially if you have your own uh, Shamatra staff with her passive plus 40 resist, right? Not bad at all. Alright, Senya's gonna go ahead and proc. We're gonna kill the Ron. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed. Fire Lilius is gonna be attacking the Christy, but it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and attack Fire Lilius again, and we should be good because this Senya will never attack the uh, Christy because there's an ice target on my side. And there you go. Arya making quick work off of everyone on the other side. That's a really reliable team, right? Again, you can replace this team with Mate Chloe. If you don't have um, Christy, just build her up. She's a three star. You definitely have her. Um, yeah, super useful unit for things like Guild Wars. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's stun the C. Lilius here, why don't we? 
gonna try to stabilize my team first before I allow her to just dual tag into everything that I got. Let us go for NS2. I don't think we need to cleanse and uh, get immunity and stuff now. She's gonna counter, which is fine. And let's let you fiend go. Oh, more Elbruses. Oh boy, a Ravi is gonna counter too. Okay, this is not terrible because I think Yufina is going to be lower health now than the Calric, which means um, the Lanny is going to focus her down, which is ideal. Okay. There we go. Very nice. So look, we have full Fighting Spirit now. He is going to be able to do one last salvo. But we should be good. Let's go ahead and get rid of the anti crit there. Oh no. Oh no, Landy, stop that. Um, Yufin is actually preventing Landy from jumping up too much in the combat right in his bar, which is kind of nice. Hopefully Aurelius does it. Oh, stop dual attacking with the Landy. That's not what I want. Okay, and let's go for an S1. Let's push up the Yufin so that she can push everyone back with her S3. There we go. Get that trauma buff going. We will be able to heal here, I hope. Oh, he is going to counter. Ooh. Okay, hopefully he doesn't counter again, because that would be really, really bad. Yufin is pretty... Okay, let's do this. Okay, good. Yufin is going to be able to go. Let's, uh, let's kill the... I think we kill the Landy first. She is the most dangerous unit. Oh, nice, we crits. We do heal. Okay, let us go for an S2. Let's put a barrier up. No push up the APOC, but that's fine. Yeah, she shouldn't kill here. Now Yufin gets to go again. Let's go for the S1. No soul burn, but we do deal quite a bit of damage, and then we get to stun. There we go. Whew! We managed to weather the storm, so even though that MO Landy was proccing like absolute crazy, um... She was popping off. We were still able to survive with the Yufin. And at this point, I will S3 so that we can turn cycle our Calric. So we can get the S2 back up. We can get another barrier. We can attack down again. Ooh, nice. Got the attack down here. That's good. Let's get a barrier going. Replenish the one that's on Arowell. There we go. Very, very nice. Uh, Arowell is going to be okay here. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Stop doing that. Okay. This is okay. This is fine now because we got our S3 back up. It's really rare that you really see an S3 twice from Yufin, at least in RTA. But in Guild Wars or in Arena, it's more common. Uh, we lap, we have an attack buff, we have the trauma buff. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a dead A-Ravi, look at that, 22k damage. Very, very nice. Arwal held on by the skin of her teeth and allowed Yufin a successful debut. And we took down the middle tower, the other two are already dead, so we're gonna find a mini one to go ahead and bully. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the second match over here. I think this is the tower that I want to take on. Um, this one's a little bit interesting because the first team actually has Aeola in it, and Abyssal Yufin can stack her passive with Politis. So Abyssal Yufin cuts the opponent's combat readiness gain by 50%, which makes her pretty good against things like, you know, ML Landy, uh, that gain, gain combat readiness from their S1s. But she's also good at preventing Aeola from pushing up. Uh, same thing with Lionheart and her passive. Combined with Politis, they should not be pushing up at all, uh, which means we can attack anybody willy-nilly, and this Aeola is not going to be able to cut us very often. So what we're going to do is bring in the A Tywin as a cleanser. I don't really want to bring in a Soul Weaver. Um, I did want some damage mitigation for this Lionheart, so A Tywin was the uh, go-to unit for that. Politis has to be here for Politis do Politis stuff, so we're gonna have her here. Yeah, she's not that great into Lionheart, but so be it. All the other uh, opponent's units are light, so because of that, they're gonna be attacking Yufin. We are on life steal, so we have some self-sustain, and A Tywin is gonna be mitigating some damage, so hopefully it'll work out for us uh, in the end. But the bottom team, we got C. Lilius, Meru, and Celine. I could have gone for something safe like Lionheart, but uh, thought, hey, why not just go for a Zeo play? So here's my Zeo. It's a pure effectiveness Zeo. No damage on him whatsoever. I should probably change that soon, though. And we got Jacko. 
So Jacko uh, will be able to finish off the Meru hopefully and uh, kill her twice with the revive and we'll be able to take an extra turn. And then we have my Watchashuri that's here just for speed and print just to go ahead and push up the team a bit more and uh, try to one shot that Selene, right? So let's jump into it and see what we can get away with. Hopefully Zeo does push back and silence the C Lilius. If not, hopefully we stun with uh, Jacko's... Um, what is it called? Her, her buff. I forgot the name of her buff that she gives the backline unit. Anyway, A. Tarwin seems to um, just not care about anything here, which is nice. Uh, Lionheart does push up. And what do we do? Do we try to stun the Lionheart? I think so. Let's do that. So you see their, uh, the profiles like jumping, right? They're trying to push up combat readiness, but they're not getting anywhere, which is really good. Now the unfortunate thing is Lionheart Sonria has this um, ignore, uh, no sorry, increase effect resist, and that's gonna kind of suck for me because the A Tywin is not very, you know, he's not very good at, uh, my, mine is not really good at stunning things because he does have effectiveness so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the R wall just break the skill null there and again you can see no one's really pushing up which is very very nice hopefully my blitz can counter that'd be nice you can stun oh come on oh no stun there he's gonna hit the Euphine we're gonna counter it's gonna proc the Lionheart once more which again kind of sucks we at least have the ignore res on our A Tywin this time around so we'll be okay we're gonna get stunned over here, unfortunate, but it is what it is, and we're gonna get pushed back once more, a Tywin, he has his S3, let's go ahead and rip it, there we go, very nice, ooh, defense break on that Lionheart is gonna be beautiful, I'm gonna go for the S3, uh, again, it doesn't matter because this Aeola can't push herself up, as you can see right there, got more stuns. Ayo is going to silence, but look at this. We're going to be able to cleanse, and that's going to be huge. Let's go for a hit onto... Who's going next? Oh, let's just go onto the Aeola. Oh, she's going to resist. Okay, so we cleanse because we have full fighting spirit, and let's go for the S3. So we have trauma. We're going to push everybody back in terms of combat readiness. This Lionheart's about to go, we're gonna say no to that. She is still stunned. Oh, look at that Arwell just evaporated there. Let's go for a hit onto the Aeola. Oh boy, that's disgusting. <laughs> we didn't even need that dual attack, but now look. We we're just cutting through everything like butter. Politus with Abyssal Euphine is absolutely disgusting. All right, I wanna to try to do that in RTA one day. Let's try and see if we can do that one um, eventually. Let's go for the Sea Lilius. Right, Chains of Chiron, that's what the name of the buff is. Uh, let's see if we can land any debuffs. Okay, beautiful. Jacko's gonna go. And I think we just killed this. Um, we killed a Meru. Hopefully, we kill. I mean, we have an attack buff. We're on pen set. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's soul burn this to kill the Meru. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I think we pretty much got this now. Right, Merciless Glutton and everything, pushing up the Zeo as well. Um, Merciless Glutton and I have Sashay on Watcher. So look at the combat readiness gains. Zeo is just taking the next turn. <laughs> is this what it feels like to cleave? I wouldn't know that feeling. Uh, Zeo is my only cheat code I have against fast units. Alright, but yeah, there you go. Pretty clean match, right? Abyssal Euphine with Politus is absolutely disgusting. All right, now it's time for the Stronghold. So taking a look at the Stronghold over here, we got Black Magic. That's actually, ah, that's actually a pretty clever way of doing it, BLK. Like it. Um, it's pretty nice aesthetically, just with all the caps at the beginning. Um, anyway, getting a little sidetracked. I'm <laughs> just admiring their username. Uh, Lua, Meru, and uh, Rimaru over here on the top team. So this team is... Uh, it took me a little while to think about it, but we're going to go with Krau. Krau's going to tank the Rimaru, and we should be alright to nuke somebody afterwards. Probably the Rimuru himself, uh, or the Lua, if we're if she's not uh, hasn't reset my entire team by then. But we're going Briarwitch Assyria as well. She is going to be quite nice for just preventing the Meru from reviving with her passive. But also we can try to put the unbuffable onto the Rimuru. But again, 
it all depends on the uh, <laughs> what the Lua strips, right? So if we can get the immunity to stay on my Briar Witch, then we'll be in good sh uh, shape. Um, which hopefully we'll be able to. Now Ed is going to be attacked by the Lua, he's going to be the uh, fire bait in this case, and we should be able to get a bunch of debuffs and a bunch of damage onto the opponents here. Now we'll see how it goes. Should go pretty smoothly, because the Briar Witch prevented the Meru from cheesing us. Uh, and then for the bottom team, we got C, Lilius, Ed, and Shu. So for this team, I'm actually bringing in Destina as a failsafe against the Shu. She's also here to tank the damage from the Ed, because she is the Earth Bait in this case. And uh, yeah, if Shu accidentally kills somebody, I have a chance to revive them. Ruel would actually not be a terrible option in this fight, but my Ruel is not currently built. Uh, so that kind of sucks. A Tywin is going to be my unit of choice in this battle, uh, mostly so that when Ed counters my Euphine, uh, we get to uh, cleanse and we also get our rage, which means we could defense break their team or probably stun the shoe or something like that. Um, a Tywin doesn't really care about the Ed because when Ed counters, uh, he hits the Euphine, and Euphine has an attack down on her S1 too. So if we land the attack down when she attacks, Ed will counter. That essentially gives us 40 fighting spirit, so it just helps us get our S3 much, much faster, and yeah, we'll just be able to destroy everything uh, when she gets traumatized again. So let's jump into it for a last match here, and hopefully she'll have a very successful debut. Unless Shu has something to say about it. Alright, we're gonna get Ed hit over here, get slept, a room exchange, boom, silence on the Meru, nothing on the Rimaru though, which kinda sucks. If we got a provoke or silence, it would've been huge. Preventing this Rimaru from doing things. Wait. This Lua didn't strip anything. <laughs> Ed full resisted, Crow resisted. Briar Witch, well, she had immunity, right? She had her um, Guiding Light stripped, but that's hilarious. All right, let's just go ahead and kill the Reaver then. See how much damage we're able to do. Oh, actually, wow, that's, that's pretty good. I am not complaining about that at all. Let's kill the Rimuru. That was a stroke of luck that I wish I had in RTA instead of Guild Wars. That's all I'm going to say. Um... And the Marrow didn't magic for friends. Oh boy, what luck do we have here? Defense broken Lua, let's go ahead and push her back. Or not, I mean, look, all is all is fair, right? He 15%, I 15%. Okay, and Ed's gonna finish a job. Oh wow, this, this team made it look easy. <laughs> Isn't it so easy when Lua just doesn't land anything? It's as if she wasn't even there to begin with. Okay, uh, we got C. Lilius going for the S3. She's gonna go straight for the Euphine, and that is okay. Do we go for an S3 here to stun the shoe, or do we try to provoke the shoe? We have a 60% chance to provoke. There we go. Got it. Good. We got the rage buff. Okay. Uh, I will go for a CR push on. Do we even CR push the Euphine? Who? Do I even need to do anything here? I don't think so. We'll save the CR push. Maybe? Ed's gonna... Shu's gonna attack. Actually, you know what? I think it's fine. Let's go for this. S1 to just heal a little bit. Yeah, I was afraid she's gonna foosh. But that's okay, because Ed is gonna attack the Destina. He's gonna S3 here. And see, Lilius will always attack the Abyssal Euphine. Oh, uh, they're all dealing quite a bit of damage here. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. That's a lot of damage. I don't like that. Guardian Ice Crystal's kicking in. No counters, thankfully. A Tywin gets to go. We can go for this, actually. I don't care if Ed counters me here. Okay, very nice. Uh, we do get a defense break, get a stun. I just don't want the opponent to uh, kill us with their shoe, right? Do we go for a push up on the Euphine? I think so. I think so. We can push up the Euphine here. Ideally, we would full heal the team, but I think this is fine. Everyone's so far back that Euphine should be able to go for S3, and then we should be able to kill everything. Uh, still defense broken on that shoe. <laughs> Look at that damage! Absolutely insane! Alright, um... 
Good, we got to cleanse there with the A Tywin, and then that's it. I mean, that's done. <laughs> you can't get much better than that. Holy you fiend. Um, and A Tywin got nice. Friendship 10. Perfect. I don't think there's a better way to end this Guild War off. The you, ML Euphine is so, so fun. Just, I've... Let me know what you guys think of her in the comment section down below. I've been loving this game so much more that I've gotten her. Um, one of my absolute favorite units to use currently. With that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time... Take care.